mop. T to the A to the L L E Y. I'm pretty. No lie. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> it's your girl LaShawn. What's up, Telly Mom? What's going on? Okay, just don't try to put on lotion and be on the go. So, um, I have been really contemplating on if I want to live in an RV or do I want to buy a house? Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You're like an RV or a house? What? Because I love... I love to travel anyway, so why not bring my house on the road with me and I don't have to worry about hotel fees, I don't have to worry about getting a rental car, I don't have to worry about any of that because my whole house is right there and then it's only me and my son so it's not a lot of space that I would need, it's just that I got to keep doing my research about if I really want to live in an RV or not. So... You know, when you do your research, you got to go on up in there, do that, do all that, okay? So, I, I don't know how to empty the tank, and I feel like that's going to be nasty. I don't know how to, um, like, put the gas, like, what type of gas I need to put in that car, uh, I'm in the RV, what type of RV I need, what's the best RV, what's not the best RV. You know, it's so many questions, and I need answers. So, what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and do today, there is a RV show in Greenville, South Carolina that I am going to go to today. It was actually like the whole entire week, but today is the last day and they closed at 5 o'clock and I don't got my watch. <laughs> and it's like 12 o'clock now. So, I want to go ahead and just like like ask a lot of questions i have so many questions so we're gonna go to the rv show today and this might be interesting for people who don't who never even thought about living in the rv like this might be something you might want to do you guys know. but it's either i want to buy a house or i want to get an rv house rv house rv which one should i don't know but i will see you all when i get there here we go I could not have start my day without my caramel macchiato, extra caramel with light ice, large. Plus, now we can go. The only thing about this one is that it's not a like a driving one. This is the one that you have to actually hook up to your own personal car and drive it. It's nice, but I want the one that you actually drive that RV and then, because I don't want to have to drive my car and hook this up on the back of my car. Nah, I, I'm not, I don't like those kind. I like the full RV. But look at that. A nice space for Mar to lay his head, go to sleep in. Perfect, like a ladder. Fine. <laughs> And then the best part, oops, this is so weird. The best part is how it's a porch outside. Like it has a whole little balcony for you. So it's like the sitting area. And then there is a balcony. Let's go outside. Downstairs, it has separate living room space. Downstairs, dining room space, kitchen, cabinet space, refrigerator, sitting area, bathroom, Nice size shower to begin. Bedroom. Downstairs in the bedroom. I like this one. This one has upstairs and downstairs. Who you know? Got an upstairs and downstairs RV. This one got stairs going up some more. Going up some stairs. And what do we see? Over here, this could be like a little kids area. Over here, a nice 
area for Mars to be in. This is, this is nice. This is nice. We go back downstairs. And back here. You got a whole house on wheels for only, for only. Okay, so what I mean by you have to hook it up to your own personal car, you see this, you have to hook, it don't have to driving, like you can't drive it yourself, you have to actually hook this part up to your own personal car. So you, I have my car, hook it up to the back of my car, and you're driving your personal car while that is on the back of your car, okay? So, I don't like those kinds, I like the ones with the full RV, like this one. So far, Tally Mob, this is my favorite. You see this bed back here? You see that bed? That is a queen size bed. And look at all this space. It's like a house, like for real. <laughs> that TV right there. So you just chilling so much space. So much space. Like, should I get this one? And it got two bathrooms. One is a half bath. The other one got a whole shower in there. And this is $200,000. $200,000 $200, for an RV or $200,000 for a house? I don't know. I don't know yet. I see I'm find out. This is like a pull-out couch, so it turns into a bed. Then you got a sitting area, like a little lounge area. So, and then up here, some more bed bedding space. A TV with a fireplace. Y'all. Kitchen. <laughs> Full kitchen. Man, hands down, this is my favorite. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe, subscribe, comment down below, comment down below. Let me know which one. A house for $200,000 or an RV for $200,000. $200, Okay, you guys, so you know I love the Rams. I do, I really do. But this one is more like a temporary, very temporary use. Maybe like for a uh, um, quick, um, to get the words out. What is it, what is it, what is it? Going camping, camping, camping is like not this is not like a home, okay? Very temporary, but it's really nice. I got the kitchen appliances. The thing I do not like the most, and then the, here's the bed, and then here's another bed. <laughs> so, bed here, bed here, twin size beds. Um, what I do not like the most is this bathroom. Look, if you open the door, you're outside, but. If you close the back of the door, you're in the shower. This is the shower. But this, that's how you get, this is the shower. This is the bathroom, I'm sorry. But this is the shower head. You see this? This is no space, like, at all to take a shower. Look at my, my head is here. Look at the top. Head, top, head. Like, really, head, top. No space to take a shower head at all. I'm right here, the shower right there. <laughs> When it comes to a motorhome, especially like a, a motorized motorhome, a drivable, like we're looking at right here, there's just not a, a ton of upkeep to it. Just, you know, very similar to your car. Oil changes for this, something like this, about every 7,500 miles. The only other thing that really comes up in conversations of, of upkeep would be, you know, they say to climb on your roof uh, about twice, twice a year, every six months or so, just to check around the seals around your air conditioning and your vents just to make sure everything's still sealed and, and no moisture or rain can access anything like that. But it's, it's definitely kind of plug and play, ready to hit the road and, and travel easy.
sweating. So I'm gonna keep my mask on. I think you can hear me, but I don't want y'all seeing me sweat. I am sweating up in it. It's hot. Oh, okay. But this is so beautiful. This one is really, really nice. I thought the other one was nice. This one is super not y'all. I might have to drop that 200,000. I might have to drop that 200,000. Look at that. That is so, so nice. They, they got a heating cup. You can put your cup right here. Y'all, I'm living like oh. Pit Diddy up in this thing. This is really nice. I love it. I love this one. And then this is the front seat. <laughs> This is the front. Yay! Vroom, vroom. Can you see yourself driving this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is nice. This is really nice. Somebody messed up the bed, but that's okay. You know, we can fix that. We can fix that. This is the closet. Look. Oh my God, it's so. Oh, it's so nice. This is the bed. With the TV. Oh my God, let's. This is the. Okay. Oh, is the lights not working in the bathroom? You can't see the bathroom. But this is the bathroom. This is, look at the floor. Look at the floor. The shower area. I wish the lights were on. Shower, so much space in this shower. You guys, I'm in love, you know. Forget the house. We doing RVs around here. We doing the RVs around here. Look at us. I'm pulling up in y'all house like, what's up? Who wants to take a ride? Let's go on vacation now. No, so, yeah, I mean, this this definitely has a, a restroom in it. All the motorhomes basically all have all have restrooms in it that you can use even while in motion and so forth. Uh, and then I guess, yeah, somewhat upkeep would be, you know, uh, you know, flushing your tanks, uh, your black and gray tanks and so forth um, when needed uh, at, a, at a campsite. And this is the best part. <laughs> <laughs> that is like, wow. I'm, I'm gonna keep letting that one be a surprise for everybody. That is a, that is nice. <laughs> It does have a, a hot water heater. These are gas or electric, so to work off the propane or the generator or while you're plugged in, um, we'll have you all your hot water. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, you were wonderful. Absolutely. Thank you. Telly Mob just left the um, RV show in Greenville, South Carolina. It was amazing. I saw so many RVs. Like, you, I thought that I would go into one RV and be like, okay, it's going to look like the other. It's going to be a bed. It's going to be a bathroom. And that's it. No, it was so many RVs. I wish I could show you all of them, but then it, this will be like an hour long. But my favorite was like the $300,000 um, RV. It was breathtaking three hundred thousand dollars rv oh my gosh it had the bed and then it also had the washer and dryer in there it was beautiful man telly mob i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know if i'm gonna buy a car not a car but i don't know if i'm gonna buy the rv or if i'm gonna buy a house 
$200,000 RV, $200,000 house. Which one is the best? Y'all let me know. Comment down below. Comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. Mine was the $300,000 RV, okay? <laughs> and it was, it's not just because of the price. It was actually worth every dollar, okay? So, Tally Mob, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.